Look at that. Look at the light. All right, now the rocket Look gets there. It, 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 it and then the right rocket there. blows up right when it hits. Oh, Holy shit! Yeah! yeah. 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 Right here! From strange sightings of UFOs, skinwalkers, and mutilated animals to mysterious forces lurking within the geographical structures of the mysterious ranch, here is one of the most terrifying incidents found under Skinwalker Ranch. For the last several decades, many people have been drawn to the fascinating spot of land in the Uintah Basin that is the Skinwalker Ranch, also known as the Sherman Ranch because it was named after Terry and Gwen Sherman, the family that purchased the ranch in the early 90s. This ranch has been the source of a wide range of strange and paranormal activities. Right from the time the land was in the possession of Kenneth and Edith Myers, people have taken notice of the bizarre events that took place there. Who can forget the bizarre UFO sightings that have occurred since the 1930s? The strange lights that have haunted witnesses. Could this be the phenomena that causes the energy spikes we've detected? And is it related to the UAPs we've seen? All I know is we may finally be getting closer to possible answers. Or the high strangeness like the unexplainable sounds of the electromagnetic anomalies that have occurred on Skinwalker Ranch. Even before the previous owners and the visitors of this ranch made their strange observations known, Skinwalker Ranch was even the subject of supernatural activities as the Native Americans also respected the place for what it was. A place of strange and unexplainable occurrences. In fact, apparently the reason the place is known as Skinwalker Ranch is because the Native Americans named it after the legend of the Skinwalker, a powerful and malicious supernatural creature that had the ability to change its form and shift its shape with the power of dark magic. The Navajo people believed that this creature used its abilities to turn into animals and even other people so that it could harm or deceive people with the use of witchcraft to kill their victims. To these people, these creatures were taboo. And as such, several communities performed rituals and used certain herbs to ensure that they are protected from the creature. Such is the legacy of the Skinwalker Ranch. As you can imagine, such a rich history of unusual occurrences and experiences have attracted many to the ranch. While some may want to witness the high strangeness or the mutilated carcasses that may have been left behind by the unknown creatures lingering in the dark, Others are keen to investigate these events so that they can get to the bottom of what's going on at the Skinwalker Ranch. Perhaps the most persistent of them has been the cast of the Secrets of Skinwalker TV series. Led by Brandon Fugel, the business mogul that is the current owner of the ranch and Travis S. Taylor, the renowned scientist, aerospace engineer and science fiction writer, the crew of enthusiasts and skeptics has been led by their collective fascination to find out what exactly may be behind the strange sightings and experiences on the peculiar ranch. With the use of innovative technology such as ground-penetrating radar to investigate things like dire wolves and UFOs in the area, as well as UFO footage from the Pentagon itself, this team is definitely dedicated to learning the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. I can't help but also notice that there's something happening here. Yo, oh, yeah, oh, there, man. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. Recently, the crew made a strange discovery as they carried on with their activities on the unusual ranch. This oddity is so frightening that it is believed to be capable of changing everything we know about Skinwalker Ranch. What on earth could this be? Maybe it isn't even from Earth. Either way, this strange discovery was made when the team made their way to Native Monument, where they were hoping to perform some experiments on the strange activities that take place on Skinwalker Ranch. Looking on, one would realize that this discovery was simply a mere fluke. They had gone out to take a look at the mesa located on Skinwalker Ranch. Eric Thomas and I headed out to the mesa where Aaron Blunt and his team from Straight Shot Drillers were about to continue another major investigation that we recently started. This isolated flat-topped elevation out in the middle of nowhere is where Aaron Blunt with his team of Straight Shot Drillers saw fit to drill. Eager to gain access to the vertical object behind the isolated hill, Blunt and his team were going to drill from the top of the geological structure. So we brought out a VT-100, which is a robot with a PTZ camera on it, 1080p readout. It can be configured in many different forms. Today we're using tracks, just because we're navigating over different types of terrain. The process involved them placing a beacon made up of 33 megahertz signals from the drill, along with a bit into the ground. With the use of a locator that was installed onto the top of the mesa, 
They were aiming to learn the depths of the structure with the movement and location of the beacon. We have a beacon that you run in with the bit and the locator will be up on top of the mesa. So it'll send a signal up to the locator and it'll tell how deep it is, where it's at, what direction it's going, so we know where that bit is at all times. Furthermore, thanks to their spectrum analyzer, they were also able to pick out the source of several energy signatures while they were still drilling into the dome. Perhaps most importantly, thanks to the fluctuations detected by the beacon, the crew was able to detect the presence of a strange phenomena. Soon the team observed that something or some strange force was pulling the drill upwards. There's something in there. And we hit it and the drill cannot punch through it. There is something in there. As strange as this may seem, they also learned that there seemed to be an obstacle ahead of them. In order to stop the drill from being pulled upwards anymore, they changed the angle of the drill. I'm up here on top with Gavin. The drill bit is approximately 40 feet below where we're standing right now. There's something that's been pushing the drill up. Unfortunately, it failed because it seemed that this change of approach did not stop the drill from carrying on with its ascent. This wasn't too strange to them because a similar incident had occurred about a year ago. One thing that may have changed this time, however, was that the drill was coming up this time. That said, the obstacle that they had come across was still preventing them from carrying out their work. It was clear that this was going to remain a problem because they realized that the drill was striking against something tough enough to be seen. While the drill was eventually able to make it through 300 feet of sandstone before reaching the obstacle, they searched for a beacon signal so that they could learn what may be down there. Fortunately for them, they were able to detect something at a frequency of 33 megahertz. However, this signal didn't mean everything was okay. In fact, the team soon came to realize that they may actually be losing control of their experiment. After drilling more than 270 or 280 feet of going through sandstone like butter, the drill has encountered a hard object that it cannot penetrate. You can imagine how they felt when they realized that the drill bit was actually producing some light. Why would the drill bit be producing light? Was this another paranormal event? What could have brought this on? With no other viable way to maneuver around this obstacle, the team decided that the best way to move forward was to literally move forward. This would involve adding more pressure to their drilling efforts until something happened. Kind of a Hail Mary, if you will. After some time, Blunt decided to remove the drill bit from the obstruction. This move helped the team realize that the 33 megahertz signal that was detected and recorded by the spectrum analyzer had actually returned to normal, but only when the drill bit wasn't making contact with the obstruction wedged within the mesa. As such, you can see how they came to the conclusion that there must be something down there, especially as the presence was prominent enough for them not to get past it. Hey, you hear that high-pitched sound it's making? Yeah. Probably just hitting something really, really hard. Moving forward, the team continued to monitor the situation. It was during this time of observation that the team listened to the high-pitched sounds that came out of the hole they had just drilled. Apparently, it was caused by the drill as it was making contact with the obstruction down below. This made them realize the amount of force they had been using while attempting to drill through the obstruction. However, it seemed the 8,000 pounds of force was not enough to get them anywhere with their drilling. During this time, they also noticed that it looked like the drill wasn't spinning. What could this mean? To the team, it meant one of two things. Either something had broken off from the drill or that despite the amount of force being used, the drill wasn't going to make any progress because it was spinning on a surface that was too smooth for the drill to make a difference. Despite this, the team decided to look at the silver lining in this dark cloud. It looked like they may actually be coming to the end of their experiment. To them, this did not mean that their experiment had failed or that their journey out to Skinwalker Ranch was a failure. To them, it meant that the GPR data was accurate. Unfortunately, as optimistic as they may try to be, at the end of the day, they still had a problem standing before them because the GPR data did not give them the information they needed to decide on their next move. What direction were they supposed to go now that it's been proven that no amount of pressure will make this obstacle budge? What could it even be? With no other answers to the many questions that they had concerning their experiment, they decided that the best thing to do 
was to remove the debris from the hole in the mesa with the use of a vacuum. Why? Well, because this would give them more information about the makeup of the mesa. Not wanting to miss out on any information, they also decided to extract the drill bit so that they can study and analyze it and check if any damage occurred during the drilling of the mesa. Surprisingly, the amount of pressure applied didn't totally damage the drill. Instead, it was actually still intact. These teeth are all perfectly intact. It's not missing a single tooth. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks like it's in perfect condition. Talk about a quality product. It wasn't even dulled down. Even stranger still, despite the amount of pressure that was applied to it, it didn't exude any heat, something that is totally against the laws of nature and physics. Truly, the strangeness of Skinwalker Ranch has no boundaries. You can see how this would make them think about what on earth might be going on. Is it possible that the obstacle that the bit was drilling on was protected by an invisible force field? Wild. As such, the team decided to get rid of the debris they had extracted from the hole. Let's hope we have some. So as the drill team dumped the materials that were collected inside the spoils tank, we were hoping that once we sifted them through a screen, we'd find evidence that might tell us what the object inside the mesa could be. Furthermore, the experiment also helped them come to terms with the fact that those who had spoken about the anomalies in the areas were not spewing nonsense. Skinwalker Ranch might actually be the real deal. This makes us think that there is truth to all the accounts that could be traced back to the 1950s and maybe even before. What this means is that we must take what has been reported by these witnesses from many generations seriously. Something is going on in the Uinta Basin, and with any luck, Travis Taylor and the secret of Skinwalker Ranch crew may get to the bottom of it. Until then, we can only continue to wonder about exactly what is going on over on Skinwalker Ranch. This is a head scratcher, right? There's something in the mesa. The drill bit won't go through it, though. That's the thing. From the strange sightings of UFOs, skinwalkers, and mutilated animals to mysterious forces lurking underneath the mysterious ranch, these were the most terrifying anomalies found under Skinwalker Ranch.